Hi there. Remember the guitar is to roll? <laughs> Play broken notes because that's how guitar players play. They can't, they can't do that. <laughs> hey, so I've gotten a lot of questions from customers in the last couple of days because I've been showing Mega Magic guitars. And one thing I show is it's really cool to layer. Here's a really nice. Nylon acoustic guitar, thousands of samples. This is from Ample Sound. This is their luthier guitar. And I have this layered with Mega Magic guitars. to I could bring down the filter of the Mega Magic guitars. When the sample starts so it doesn't have the attack of the guitars and let's fade in just a little bit. Right? So how do you make presets that you can quickly call up elements from your favorite plugins is kind of the theme for this one topic tips. And there's two answers. We originally designed what we call layer presets. So I'm going to use option or actually I could just click on the bullet and just say delete. I'm going to delete the unify layers so it's just the luthier guitar. And let's say I want to add the Dragonfly Hall reverb. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say copy plugin state because I'm going to have this end up being just right here in this layer because we're going to do what's called a layer preset to start with. So I'm going to go over here, Dragonfly Hall, and then click the little dot over here and under operations you say paste but I need to change it a little bit because when it's an auxiliary it's 100% reverb <laughs> and we don't want that now we want this to be maybe down like that and then the dry level up around if it will show me let's say 100% bit less reverb you can have it totally dry if you didn't want reverb at all or you could use any of your reverb plugins from whatever companies you want to use but we made it ability right here to go save layer preset select that and we want to make our own folder so we're going to say new folder and say John favorite layers, layer elements, right? Save, I create, and then up here, I'm gonna say this is ample, a ample sound, nylon with reverb, okay? So now when I go over here to replace this layer, I have a folder category in the list. I also have under the plus, if I go to instruments, that is there. So now I could go to Mega Magic Guitars. I could call back up the. And all I have to do is go layer plus, go to instrument, and there's that folder, say Ample Sound Nylon with reverb, and it loads it as a layer. Now, 
Say we wanted to try something else. So instead of ample sound, let's go over here to favorite instrument. Uh, yeah, we could do it through atmosphere. Let's call up a piano from Keyscape. Uh, we're going to do something from contact. I want to do a couple different things to give you the idea of how this works, both as layer presets, and then I'm going to show you another way that's even more powerful. So let's go over here to Keyscape Library. Let's say we want the softest C7. So it's going to load that up. Um, I'm going to go back over here and say delete layer, delete layer. So I just hear. Maybe I want it softer. Well, I could go over here to unify, to EQ, to filter max. Let's say low pass filter. Maybe I want it before the reverb. The reverb doesn't have any filtering. Okay. That's nice. So go under the little dot right here and say save layer preset. Open up that folder of your layer elements. You name that folder whatever you want. Let's call this Keyscape. Soft piano, save. Um, let's do something from Spitfire Audio. Maybe we'll use uh, the new Intimate Grand Piano. That's really nice. And let's say for this one here, maybe we don't want the filter. So let's hit bypass on the filter to start. Still loading up the samples. Okay, so let's say we want to save this. So we go over here and we say, save layer preset, go to our layer elements. And let's call this uh, piano. And what the heck, we'll put Spitfire at the beginning, so we'll see. Okay, um, and then maybe we want to go back to Omnisphere or let's say contact. Why don't we do something from contact as well? So we'll say contact. And let's say, of course, we got to wait for a minute for it to load its resources. Let's use Grandeur. I love this piano. And I can get a, if you open this up for the tone. So maybe we'll turn on space. Okay, so let's save this as a layer as well. So save layer, contact, um, soft, piano, grandeur. I'm spelling it wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> save. So I have four layer preset patches I have made. At this point, I could hit init. Uh, for the first one, I would go over here to the little dot to replace this first layer, because from init, it's just a sine wave. I can go to favorites. I could say Keyscapes Soft Piano. And let's go Layer Presets, go to Unify Layer. And let's say we want to go to Mega Magic Keys. Uh, to the reverb only. So we go here to these reverb only. Let's choose the felt, maybe from Mega Magic 1, so it's not a pitch shifter. Down an octave. And maybe I want to add another layer preset, so I can just hit the plus button. 
I could add Spitfire's Intimate Piano to this. Right? So you can build up as, as you want with layers in the layer preset option by just right here. And you could do the same thing to make your favorite auxiliary effects using whatever effects. If you have your favorite reverbs, make a folder saying my favorite reverbs, set up an auxiliary with the effects you want, and then use a little bullet and say save layer preset and save it into its own folder. The other way to do this, because this was really supposed to be the only way you could do layers, <laughs> but then, interesting thing happened. Airwave started making patches where he was loading Unify into Unify. And it became really interesting to, to just realize that power of taking any patch and loading it into Unify as its own self-contained layer. And so if we wanted to, we could hit init. We could go over here to the replace layer preset. Let's call up something like Keyscape Soft Piano. And let's go here to the Master Effects because now we're going to save a patch. So go to the Master Effects and call up Master Optimizer Light. This puts a loud max, it puts an EQ and a very non intrusive compressor. Everything will sound just a little better with this on. And it protects you from distortion. And now let's make a library of our own favorite layer elements. So we go, let's see, this is key. You can name things however you want, organized or not. I'm going to say Keyscape Soft Piano. And for library name, you go down here and you say New Library. And this is John Favorite Layer elements. You can name it whatever you want. Confirm. Uh, I'm going to say it's a keyboard. This stuff I'm going to delete. Put your name in as an author if you want. Then go save as and then it will automatically make the folder and a patches folders and when you hit save it will save this patch into that folder and register it here. So if we go down here to John's favorite elements it's there, right? And there it is. <laughs> Let's just use normal to start with. So we say here. And now quickly, let's go over here to the layer presets and replace and say ample sound for the guitar. And then let's go over here and go save. This is guitar. So GTR and ample sound. Nylon. I always go nylon. I don't know why. Uh, guitar. Save as because we want to be a new patch. If you hit update, it would update the soft piano to now be a um, guitar. You don't want that. So go save as and just hit save. And there it is. Go to this layer preset and replace it with, uh, let's say, Spitfire Intimate Piano. And let's hit save. And this is keys. And this is keys, piano, and go save as and save. And now we have three patches. So I'm taking those layer presets and I'm now making them into patches. Um, contact soft grandeur. It'll take it a second to load contact, load the samples. There we go. And remember, the filter max is over here. It's bypass. We could turn it on if we wanted it to be a certain vibe. Or have it bypass but available. You want it in the future. So go save. This is keys, but this is contact. K6. Um, soft. Grandeur. Save as, save. So I have made four patches. And let's do one more. Uh, go to Zebra. 
Uh, so we'll go down here to Uhi. Totally different vibe, but you'll see it, 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 this work out really nice. So go Uhi, uh, Zebra 2. We did a library called Toxic Zebra, which actually has some really cool uh, sounds that aren't just toxic. Some are very toxic. <laughs> but if we go keyboard, or actually just key, key, key Y. Uh, here we go. Uh, right here, the semi-acoustic piano. It's really fun. And let's have it go up an octave. And a cool element. And go save. And here we go as a patch. Uh, zebra. Two. Uh, hybrid. Piano JL. Save as. So as you can see, any plugin that you have inside of Unify, you can use to make your own library of your favorite patches. And now all you have to do is go down here where it says normal, change it to Unify layer. Let's say we want to load up Keyscape Soft Piano. And by clicking it, it's added to a new layer. And it has whatever you settings, whatever effects, everything. And now we can go to any other library. Let's go Mega Magic Keys. And let's go to the reverb only we were playing with earlier. We're still set to a unified layer. Let's say C3 Piano Mega Magic 1 reverb only. And it's up an octave. So hold down Option or Alt. And right here is Transpose. And it will jump by 12 semitones. And you can open this layer up. Go here to the knobs. Bring down the reverb. The Bring down the filter cutoff. Just to give it some nice, cool motion. Uh, let's keep going. Let's add guitars to this too. So let's go over here and add maybe a round robin with like the knee, with the nylon. Uh, just make a magic one and open this up and let's go to the knobs and bring down its filter let's turn down there and since we have four layers hold down option or alt and grab one of the volume uh, indicators here and as you bring it down you can see it's bringing everybody down so as you add layers, you're going to get more total sound, so you need to control the volume. Look down here at your output, just to make sure it's not in the red. Let's go back over here to the favorite layer elements. We're still at Unify Layer. Let's load the Ample Sound guitar as well. Say this patch as a composite patch. I could go save, and it's to John's favorite layers. And we'll say key, um, beautiful combo one, and save as, save, and then just set this to normal. <laughs> so when I click to load this, it will load up this exact same setup. I could say start with just the intimate piano and then play with other libraries. Go over here to Mega Magic Pads. Part two has all of these elements. So let's set this to Unify Layer. And what's fun with this is when you set it to Layer, I'm not sure which one of these I want. So I could choose Destiny A. It's definitely not the one that I want. There, that's 
better. Too loud, but turn it down. And you can start surfing through all of the libraries that you have loaded inside of Unify. Whatever is shown up here is fair game to layer. So we could go to Spectrosonics Nylon Sky, which is one of the extensions that uh, Spectrosonics created. We could go here, we're at Unify Layer. So just choose Nylon Guitar Clean. And it's up an octave. So hold down the Option Alt key, go to Transpose and drag down and it will jump 12 semitones. It's a unified layer, so I can open this up and I could go down here and I could go, mm, maybe I want something that's more like something more dreamy and dark hole sounds like it could be pretty cool. So all of your patches are available. If you want specific plugins to be available and we don't have, we haven't made patches for something that's your favorite sounds, it's very easy to use the save button on just a layer at a time to build up your own little library of your favorites. So hopefully this gives you some pointers. Go step by step. If, if something, if I'm, you know, I'm doing a lot, right? But if you just pause and do what I did, then unpause and do the next steps, you can follow the same steps. And in no time at all, you'll be calling up one sound like grandeur, you know, and then adding something to it. So I hope this helps you. I hope it inspires you. The whole key to Unify is inspiration um, and giving us access to all of our patches. sound nylon and now once you get to this point you can start having fun go to MIDI effects go to creative add jitterbox make it like 50 55 milliseconds so it's going to randomly with each note you play it's going to randomly choose something in this range so that now you have somebody playing with you, but they're not playing sample accurate with your other parts. So like if you want to do band, layer like a saxophone and a trombone and a trumpet and use Jitterbox on each of those layers, and it just sounds so realistic in a way because it's human. There's, it's not perfect. And it's per note, so even if you play a chord, each time it's randomly playing for each of those notes, selecting a different random amount. That's the power of Unify. Hopefully this inspires you and uh, see you in the next video, okay? Take care. <laughs>